Hey everybody, welcome to Enliven Wellness. My name is Tessa and I'm really happy to be here to talk to you about poop and why fiber does not actually help you poop. Say what? So if you first, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell button so you're notified whenever I go live. And thank you for being part of this family. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Love you all so much. All right, let's get to it. So fiber does not help you poop. Now here's why. Now, what is poop? Have you thought about this before? I hadn't, but all right. Poop is actually 75% water and then 25% solid matter. And the solid matter is composed of undigested foods, bacteria, fats and cholesterol, inorganic matter, and just a small amount of protein. So of your stool, the bulk of it is actually water. Interesting. And did you know that you produce 100 to 250 grams of feces a day? And that the typical, the typical amount of bowel movements per day is supposed to be about one to two. Pretty interesting. Now, so fiber does not equal poop because fiber is not the full component of that 25% of the solid matter of your poop. So proof that fiber doesn't make you poop is that people who are fasting still poop. Why? Because it's an elimination mechanism and your body still needs to get rid of that waste and clear out that bacteria and clear out those fats and cholesterols and clear out those inorganic substances and clear out that protein. And yes, the undigested food matter as well. But people who are fasting still poop because you still need to get rid of that waste in your body. Second thing, fiber Okay, so there's a word called motility, which basically means the capacity of your, your bowels to move. It's the movement through your bowels. Fiber does not influence bowel motility. What? It, well, okay, it can influence the frequency, but what is the, what is the number one nutrient that is responsible for bowel motility? Anyone? Fat. This is physiology 101, folks. In fact, in a physio straight out of a physiology textbook, it says fat is what influences bowel motility. Carbohydrates and protein have no influence. What does that mean? That means that if your bowels are sluggish and not moving well, you actually need more fat in your diet in order to create that motion through the ocean, if you will, so that your bowels will clear. So you've got to look to fat if you're having a sluggish bowel. If you're not having enough fat, your bowels aren't moving. Now, so does fiber actually help with constipation? According to the studies, no. I found a meta-analysis and review, and here's, well, here's two studies that I'm going to cite in this video. And of course you can find studies that support any conclusion, right? You can find studies that support a lot of different things, but I found a really gold standard study called a meta-analysis and review that took into account all studies about fiber and constipation and they made kind of like a final say. That's what a meta-analysis and review is, is a bunch of researchers get together and then they, and they analyze all the different studies having to do with fiber and constipation and they make one final say. And what they said was no, fiber does not actually help with constipation. Fiber helps with stool frequency, but not with constipation. Now, what does helping with stool frequency really mean? It means that fiber means that you go more often, but does that really mean that you're healthier? Probably not, because if you're going more often, that just means that you have more to get rid of. Again, if you're pooping more often, that just means that you have more to get rid of. There's just more in your intestines that needs to come out. So it's not that you're healthier by pooping more often, it's because you have more to get rid of. Pretty interesting if you think about it that way. Now, you, of course, bowel frequency is important. Absolutely, going one to two times a day, super importante. But you don't need to be going all the time and your stools don't need to be these big old Swiss logs all right? Like they don't, they don't, they don't need to be these big old Swiss logs. In fact, if they are, you are ingesting more that you need to get rid of. 
and it's just a bunch of waste. That's what it is. So, again, what this meta-analysis did find was that it increased stool frequency, that yes, fiber increases stool frequency, congratulations, but it did not improve treatment success and it did not help relieve any of the painful symptoms of constipation. So, and what does it mean by it did not improve treatment success? It means that they have found that fiber was not better than placebo at relieving constipation. Now, on to the next study. There was another study done and it was really very well done. It had a very good sample size and it was, it was dealing with people on a high fiber diet, middle fiber diet, low fiber diet, and its effects on idiopathic constipation. So what does that mean? Idiopathic constipation is constipation without like a cause like a medication causing constipation or some kind of obstruction. So just, just constipation that's just happening. What this study found was that people on the reduced fiber or the low fiber diet had significant improvements in their constipation symptoms. People on the high fiber diet, not at all. And even more telling was that they concluded that the people on the no fiber diet in fact, had an increase in stool frequency. So let me repeat that. They had an increase in stool frequency. So they took a bunch, they took, they took a three groups of people, they put them on these three different diets and measured how often these people went. And the people who went on the no fiber diet, in fact, increased their stool frequency from one bowel movement every three days, 3.75 days, to one bowel movement every day. That's a huge difference. So they stated in this study, they concluded that a low or no fiber diet improves, and it was a statistically significant result, that it improves constipation symptoms. Very interesting. So if you're thinking about going to carnivore or raw carnivore, and you're like, oh my gosh, but I still need to poop, ah, like, the fiber is the thing that helps me poop. Think again. I'm just putting it out there. Just think again. And again, I'm not saying that like all fiber is bad and that veganism is bad or vegetarianism is bad, but you don't need fiber to poop. And so those are some of the main concerns that I get when people come to me asking to go raw carnivore or carnivore. You don't need fiber to poop. There are little workarounds, things that you need to have in your diet in order to poop if you're thinking about going this direction are particular kinds of probiotics. You need to make sure you're having adequate fat. You also need to make sure that you're drinking enough water and you're staying hydrated, right? You need to make sure that you are moving your body because that also influences your bowel motility. You need to make sure that your core is strong. That also influences your bowel motility. There are a lot of different components that come into healthy pooping and you've got to focus on all of those. So if you're interested in these, in like these like little tweaks, like what kind of probiotics do I actually need? You know, what kind of, how can I transition from this vegan thing or vegetarian thing to keto or maybe even vegan to raw carnivore, you name it. I can help you put together some plans, give you some tips and tricks that have helped me with this. And because I definitely noticed a change in my bowels when I, when I switched up, but I've made some, some changes and done some experiments and I've found a really good solid method solid <laughs> um, and it is really helping so if you'd like to learn that please reach out and email me and say I'm ready you can email me at tgirly7 at gmail.com and say I'm ready and we'll get you all these tips and tricks and in the meantime happy pooping thank you for being here I also run empath support groups as well as healing support groups so if you're interested in those also email me and say I'm ready for the groups also check out my website, enliven-wellness.com, and you all, I love this family so much. I'm so dedicated to you, and I want you to all feel super vital, and it's really, that's just, that's what it's about. So, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and happy pooping! All right, bye!